Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute chocolate balloon bowls. Starting off with some wax paper on a cookie sheet. In this case, it's, I'm using a cutting board because I'm only making a couple of them. You'll need some balloons. And grease the balloon up with a little bit of vegetable shortening or some butter. This will help release from the chocolate once the balloon bowl is finished. These balloons are small. They are like the water balloon size. So first, take a teaspoon of melted chocolate. I'm using candy melts here and just make a small circle about two inches in diameter. This is going to be the base for the bowl and it's going to help keep it from tipping over once you've finished your bowl. Then dip the balloon in the chocolate. Now if you have a nice deep bowl of chocolate you'll be able to dip it straight up and down instead of having to tilt it from side to side like I'm doing now but because I only made two of them I didn't want to melt a big container of chocolate. So the end result for me was I ended up with an uneven edge to the bowl. But I'll show you how I, I just I figured out how to solve that problem. So dip it in the chocolate. You may have to dip it a, uh, maybe more than once just to make sure there's a nice coat, an even coating of chocolate on the balloon. Let it drip just a little bit and then place it on that circle that you made. Then put the whole thing in the refrigerator or the freezer until the chocolate's hardened. Once the chocolate is hardened, you need to, to remove the balloon. And to do this, you need to break it. So what I did, I used a pair of scissors just to snip a hole in the top. This way it have some control over how fast the air went out. If you just pop it with a pin, it's possible that the force of the balloon breaking might break the edge of the bowl because it's quite thin. And then just gently peel the balloon out of the bowl. And then peel it off the waxed paper. And for some reason, I ended up with a little hole in the bottom of my bowls. I'm thinking maybe just the weight of the balloon pressing on the chocolate made a little hole. But it's easily fixed. I put a little bit of chocolate on that little hole and then just put it back in the refrigerator and let it set. Now, you can decorate these if you'd like. I had some Christmas candy on hand, so I just put a little bit of melted chocolate on the back of these little candy Christmas trees and just stuck them along the edge of the bowl. You could decorate these with frosting, with candy melt, with sprinkles, or there's really a lot of things you could do with this. It doesn't have to be Christmas either. Uh, for this one, I just dipped it into the melted chocolate and then dipped the edge of the bowl into some sprinkles. And this would make a really cute little bowl to serve ice cream with at a birthday party, let's say. Now you'll notice here that I'm holding the bottom of the bowl with a piece of waxed paper. That's to keep the heat of my fingers from melting the chocolate and to avoid leaving fingerprints in the chocolate. It just makes for a prettier bowl if there isn't someone's fingerprints in them. Then put that in the refrigerator and let it harden. Now to fix up that uneven edge, what I did is I put a non-stick skillet on low heat on the stove and I just pressed the edge of the bowl until it started to melt. And in there you go look at that it just made it nice and even as can be i was very happy with that method so there is a little christmas tree bowl and there's one with the sprinkles which i probably should have evened out before i put the sprinkles on this one i put a little bit of ice cream in it to show you that you could certainly serve it use it to serve desserts in and this one contains golden graham cereal clusters i packaged this one up in a little decorative bag with the ribbon I was at work the other day and somebody brought in a bunch of goodies including these little cluster cereal clusters and when I tasted them I couldn't get over how good they were and then she told me how easy they were to make. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's super quick. You'll need some candy melt or some melted chocolate and some cereal. I'm using Golden Graham's cereal and if you're unfamiliar with this kind of cereal it is graham cracker flavored cereal and they look like little graham crackers. They are really good. They're very, very sweet. And all you do is pour it into the melted candy melts. Stir it around until they are completely coated. Now, of course, if you can't get golden grams where you live, you can certainly use whatever kind of cereal you'd like. And keep adding cereal until most of the candy melts have used up in the bowl and each piece has a little bit of the melted candy melt on it. And then scoop it out and put it on a cookie sheet that's covered with wax paper, or in this case, a silicone mat, into little bundles. 
and then put it in the refrigerator and let it harden completely. Once it's hardened completely, you can store it at room temperature in a sealed container. And you know, they're remarkably good. So simple, but, but quite good. So these will make an appearance alongside of all the other cookies I've made this year. So this will probably be my last video before Christmas. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone that's watching. Bye-bye.